One of the best tools we have as tournament anglers is something that can cover water. You know, being able to move through unproductive water to find those stretches of productive water is really, really important for us. So something that we can cast and retrieve back to the boat at a pretty steady to quick pace is something that is going to be a great tool for me. And there's really not much better tool out there on the market right now than a bladed jig. Man, that's a beautiful fish. When I'm fishing a bladed swim jig, which I do a lot, I basically categorize my trailers into two styles. I keep it pretty simple as I do with most all my fishing. For those two styles, I'm either thinking a crawl imitating bait, something that's a thin profile, not a big round bulky bait, but something a thin profile that's got you know two legs, very much a crawled out imitating bait, something that you'd use stand alone on a Texas rig. I can even skip this bait under boat docks, under overhanging trees, but I think of that and I also think of a boot tail kind of swim bait, you know, something that's not a great big exaggerated tail, but something that does have, you know, enough tail to have some kick to put off some vibration, but more so just for appeal, you know, I mean, something that's there visually, but then you've kind of got that boot tail on the back, essentially to seal the deal is kind of the way I look at it. So one of those two, that's what I'm going to have on the back of my bladed swim jig, vibrating swim jig, pretty much all the time crawl imitator or bait fish imitator and i will use you know colors of both i've, I've used white crawdad imitating baits and i use green pumpkin boot tail style baits on the bike so it's not just color oriented it's just bait style whatever i think the bass are feeding in on that's what i'm going to try to match with those trailer styles